Hey everyone, and welcome to Volunteer Friendly, episode 14, Have Worship Resources Become a Crutch? Volunteer Friendly is a podcast for anyone that serves in a church and makes Sunday happen. Worship Leaders Production folks, uh, tech volunteers, uh, if you're involved in making Sunday happen, then you are in the right place. And the way Volunteer Friendly works is each episode is less than 10 minutes, and we we bring up one topic, one question, and discuss that, and I leave you with three questions so that you and your team can contemplate and then you and your team can discuss together. So today I want to talk about a subject that hits pretty pretty close to home for me. Uh, I want to ask the question, have worship resources become a crutch for our team? Uh, and I mean that in a few different ways. One, is there a scenario where we're you know relying on external resources uh, to, to solely shepherd and shape our team? Uh, we'll get to the questions in a second. I'm getting ahead a little bit. But is there a scenario where I'm relying on something other than, than me and my leadership to, to shape my team solely? Um, and what I mean by that is we live in an incredible time where um, there are uh, so many worship resources available to us. In fact, I just wrapped up a, uh, a video series, recording a video series, where I, I kind of give a walkthrough of the three big main sites where you can buy, buy and download multi-tracks um, to, to use tracks on stage. Um, and, and one of the taglines, one of the things I talked about in creating those episodes and those lessons and tutorials is, uh, there's so much content and there's there, there, it could be overwhelming to figure out all these different resources. It's an amazing time as a worship leader, as a production person, all the resources we have available to us. But sometimes I almost wonder, um, are we taking the resources for granted or are we taking really the, the shepherding and the guiding and the training and the teaching of our team for granted and, and leaving that solely on external forces? So it's something I think about often. In fact, when I, I worked uh, previously at a worship resources company, and um, I remember often we would have people write in to support and ask for specific features to be added to our products. And there were features that really only could be done successfully, or let's even say really only should be done by a person, by a pastor that's pastoring those people. Uh, they would ask for features that only a, a good music director should know or do, and they wanted the app to do it for them. And I thought, and let's get controversial for a little bit. Again, I, I try with Volunteer Friendly not to make it a, a platform for my own personal ministry philosophy. But at that time, I thought, gosh, are, with all these resources available to us, are we becoming lazy? Are we again handing over the shaping and shepherding and uh, and, and like a care of our team to external resources? Um, are we going? I wish this app did this because if it did it, then I wouldn't have to prepare. Is it making us lazy? Um, I don't believe that the longer you know, if you do something and it takes you longer, that you've done it better than the person that it takes less time. I think that's a foolish approach. Uh, you know, John F. Kennedy saying we go to the moon not because it's easy, but because it's hard. I'm kind of like. That's one of the the not best things I've I've ever heard say. Like, you know, why would I do something just because it's hard? Now, I do believe in hard work. I do believe in hustle. I do believe in putting effort in stuff. That's why I create a piece of content every single day to release for free. If I was solely interested in doing just the simple things, then I would do maybe one video a week. And I've done that in the past, but I'm not afraid of hard work. I'm not afraid of uh, uh, doing the work. But sometimes I just wonder, with access to all these resources available to us, are we kind of, um, uh, or are our muscles weakening? You know, you know what I mean? Like if, if, if you're sick and you can't use your muscles and they kind of shrink up and you get weak, is that happening to us because we're relying too heavily on these worship resources? Um, are we getting lazy with that? Um, are, are we even getting to the point where, again, we're leaving the shepherding, the shaping, the equipping, the teaching of our team to some external resource. And as someone who owns a company that uh, helps resource people, you know, with music production software, and a lot of our customers uh, from studio to stage are worship leaders. You, if you're listening to this now, there's very high chance that you're from studio to stage customer who is a worship leader production person. Um, so I, I create resources and training and, and, and content to help equip folks. But sometimes I wonder, do worship leaders just sign up for this audio training program, for uh, this tracks training program, for this pro presenter training thing, for this thing, uh, send them YouTube videos and go just watch this and leave it be. Is there any discussion that's happening? Is there any getting into someone's life and, and the, the nitty gritty and the, the dirtiness of working with people and being in their mess and being in their struggle and in their frustrations and the difficult things that are going on in their life. Is that happening or are we just buying them a subscription to this site? 
again, I think the site's helpful. I hope you think it's helpful and you continue to subscribe to From Studio to Stage or become a subscriber, but that can't be the sole thing. It can't be the only thing. So now, as I've mentioned on every episode so far, uh, the 13 episodes before this episode of the podcast, the goal of this show is to not just be a platform for me to share my ideas. Honestly, the goal of this show is to kind of poke the bear. The goal of the show is to get you to really think, to, to try to put things out there that maybe we've accepted as you, we just do this. This is the thing we do and really get you to question, um, uh, should we do this? Is this the right thing for our team? And one of the ways I want to try to help you do that every single week is to provide you with three questions uh, that you can one, contemplate probably by yourself as a leader, and then two, uh, discuss with your team. I think this could be a really useful tool before a rehearsal, it could be a really useful t- uh, tool to work through with your staff team. Um, however you best find fit uh, to do that. And if you want to download the free PDF of this, then you could click the link in the description of this video or head to volunteerfriendly.com uh, to download the PDF of these three processing questions. Again, download them, um, contemplate them on your own and then process them with your team. So let's get to today's three questions. Number one, have worship resources become a crutch for our team? I've left that very vague. I don't want to try to say it's good, it's bad. I don't want to define that. Just simply, I want you as a leader and then together with your team to ask the question, have worship resources become a crutch for our team? Let's expand that again. Let's say maybe you're an audio person, you're a production person, you're subscribed to a training site, um, you go to a conference, you send people YouTube videos, you buy a devotional, you know, whatever it is, and you just send that to your people. Has that become a crutch for your team. So put that in your own context. Think through that in your own way. Number two, this is personal, uh, less for your team, but personal for you. Am I relying on external resources alone to equip and shape my team? Am I relying on external resources alone to equip and shape my team? Again, I'm not saying resources are bad. As someone who operates a resource site, for musicians, music directors, playback techs, worship leaders. Um, I really hope resources aren't bad uh, because then I'm in the wrong business if they are bad. Um, I'm saying them alone, using them alone to equip, to shape your team. Are you doing that? Uh, Because again, I try not to add my own personal opinion to this, but I think if you're solely relying on some external thing, you're missing an opportunity to really get in the nitty gritty um, and and get into people's lives and help shape them and disciple them and um, see God sanctify them through this process. Number three, this one's going to be one that's going to scare you a little bit and hopefully reshape things and make you think about the resources you're currently using. Number three, what would happen if my budget and resources completely dried up. And what I mean by that is you're subscribed to From Studio to Stage, which is an excellent place to subscribe to, if I should mention myself. Um, your budget dries up, you can no longer be subscribed. What do you do then? You know, What's your plan then? And I think that's gonna lead you to the resources, one, that are absolutely essential for your team. And if From Studio to Stage is not one of those, then cancel, I, you know, no harm, no foul. Um, and maybe email me and let me know. Cause that would be interesting to know. Like, will I cancel it? Cause I listened to your podcast where you told me to cancel your site and then I'll go, okay, never do this again. But maybe that's, that's where you are. Maybe that's the situation you're in. But I think if you work through kind of that game, you'll go, is this essential? And then two, uh, you'll go, you know, maybe it's not essential, but maybe you'll go, um, no, this is essential. We absolutely have to have this. Or maybe you find a way to do this on your own. Maybe you go, we're going to take some of these resources, some of the things we learned from these sites, We're going to create our own training content to equip our team. We're going to do a training day where we watch this together or we watch it together as a team and then discuss uh, together, something like that. Here's the goal of all this. Again, I try not to put my own opinion in this. Um, We just have to serve our teams well. And sometimes I worry that maybe we rely too much on external things to do that. Sometimes I worry that we become lazy because of worship resources but I want you to answer that. Again, if you want a downloadable PDF of that to contemplate yourself, share with your team, click the link in the description of this video. Um, we release a new episode of Volunteer Friendly uh, 10 a.m. Central every Thursday on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, wherever you listen to spot, uh, podcasts, as well on YouTube itself. Do me a favor as we wrap up today's episode. One person, I want you to think of one person, one worship leader, one tech director, one production person that serves in church that you think would enjoy this. Shoot them a text, share them uh, this this episode with them uh, or this podcast in general. Thanks for watching. uh, And I will see you next week, next Thursday, 10 a.m. Central on Volunteer Friendly. Take care, everybody. Bye.